Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. No, not really. Uh. Oh shit. When I was eight, my little brother. Whatever, I'm doing it. We're doing it. He was bleeding. I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Darkwater. The people here needed me. I died trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Call them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Ford. We will all die like him. His life was written well Fuller. before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. This painting. The investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Oh, here we go. The actual choice of the game, the one that matters. Right Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins. The voice beyond the grave. Arkham. Sarah. I feel her calling me. Let us not wait any longer. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. No. Please. I can't do it. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. Go kill Cat. No. Maybe. No one can fight their fate. Neither them. Are you? Come on. Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. Come on, dude. Come on. What happened? I keep fucking getting knocked out, Sarah. dude. I must go to Sarah. She is the orphan. She will know what to do. Painting's still here. I'm gonna guess that she's... Cool statue. Uh, she's down there somewhere, probably. So, I only have one direction to go nowadays. Like, the, the game's become incredibly linear. Which is not bad. I'm just hoping the choice I get to make at the end is between... Releasing Cthulhu or not releasing Cthulhu. Because if I get the choice, I'm releasing Cthulhu. The fucking point of the game. Nope. So, wait, what is the point of coming down here? Is there? Oh, there's a path over there. Okay. I thought I was supposed to get on the boat. I'm like, okay, I'll walk past the boat and then it'll become a boat because it's already destroyed. It'll, like, reemerge or whatever. Nope. How do I know the name of this place? I know an investigator, but I never, I never learned the name of this place. He never even got told where she was. It's just like, she's calling me. Going that way. There we go.
A lot of caves. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I was getting so sick of that fucking stumbling animation. The camera wobble is making me sick. Well, no, but it was annoying. So. Ooh, how did I not see this from fucking anywhere else on the island? Reality as you know it stops here. None of this makes sense. It's not supposed to. Oh, she is waiting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. What have they done to me? Nothing. You're insane. No one did it. Oh, fuck on. off. Oh. I like how it's me talking to me. Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Oh, God damn it. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. They always have to be almighty, don't they? They can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm kind of half immortal now. No, no, it's just, it's beyond your comprehension. Fuck you. Every fucking time. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, uh, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny. Although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. I think they're literally telling me right now. I, I keep bragging on the game, I know. But I think that literally these moments are them being like, no matter what, this is where you're going to end up. I can go through this game again and be like, I'm going to end up exactly where I am. I just might have a little bit more sanity next time. Because I think... Oh, I can't even access my journal now. I'm just... That's, just, that's it. This is where I am. Oh, hey, Charles. How you doing? Oh, more of those faces in the rocks that it should have been uncovered. What do you want? You took everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You forsook your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. Hi. Oh, we're gonna do this again? Slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? She didn't choose me. The gods did. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself. And the scars on my shoulder. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. Reality. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. Oh, you know what would have been really good if he had been like exhausted and tired, and, like <sighs> like a visual representation that. My mind's reality is just like, fuck, dude, come on. 
See, I don't know if I have the choice of like turning around here or not. I wonder if I can just walk away. But I also don't want to because I want to finish the game in a cool way. Yeah, I saw that, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's right there. Tentacle in the clouds. I'm almost there. Hey, here's the only people in town I didn't kill. The cultists. I killed everyone else. Alright. Let's see what we get to do here. Sarah scrolling on other... I see the tentacles in the background. See, what happened to Cat in all this now? She seemed like she was going to be an important character and then she kind of just vanished. Is that me? Or is that Algonon? That's Algonon. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. Yeah, I know. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All had, this time kinda I had was no choice. fighting it, afraid of what I might discover, but I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Ah, shit. I didn't get all the occultist uh, things. All right, let's do it. Strange, oh, oh. horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! So I get the choices here. Oh, I thought it was going to be Charles. Oh, it's that dagger again. We're not... We're not in a cave. There shouldn't be an echo. Perform the counter ritual. No, perform, perform the counter ritual. I don't know. I'm just picking an option. Oh yeah. the ring. It keeps focusing on the ring now. Ah, shit. Do I have to fight Cthulhu now? Dedicated to the founder of the Chaosium of Grand Shaman of Gaming, Greg Stanford. 
That's it? Okay, wait. It said go back, so I can go back. Wait, what? What? Is this Fuller coming to see me in my fucking insane asylum cell? Double the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. And they're probably just gonna keep trying. Yeah, there's me. Fight destiny achievement. 36 dark water. The police report it says the fire started the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on decide on domestic incident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? The press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island, is, uh, island sorry, of dark 